Okay, welcome class. Today we're going to learn about weathering and how it affects rocks or buildings, statues, things like that. And to replicate this, we're going to use sugar cubes. Now I have here a model of a mountain using sugar cubes. I have two stacks, one at the bottom and one at the top. Now we're going to see how weathering water affects or mountains by using these sugar cubes. I have in here just plain water with a little food coloring. And we're going to add a few drops to each sugar cube, maybe five drops to each sugar cube in the same spot, each of them, and we'll see how it affects the sugar cube. This has the same effect on the earth when it rains. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Now if you notice, the water, the dye, is showing that the water is seeping through. And this is the same thing that water does to our mountains or rocks or sidewalks and that is statues. Let's add a little bit more. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Some more. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Two, three, four, five. Oh no, we have two more to go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, as you can see, the first set of sugar cubes completely is engulfed in this water with the dye, and that's the effect that our mountains would have and our rocks. And on the top of the sugar cube, you can see that weathering is already taking place because the sugar cubes are starting to develop little holes. And we're just going to add some more aggressively this time to actually show you how much erosion can take place with our rocks. Now, this is the same effect that water would have on sidewalks, rocks, and mountains. Here I am. Um, on this beautiful island and this is the best example I have seen of weathering and rocks. This um, video shows the weathering process, how different rocks look as a result of undergoing weathering conditions. 